Hello, in this video we're going to discuss advice to governments how to access water pressure from springs and brooks part one. So firstly I have to point out that a spring or brook is deliberately placed there by heaven. The district councils in New Zealand uh, cannot, uh, they do not own these. These are from heaven, they're owned by heaven and the water is provided for humankind for free and all life. So I'll just make that clear to you district councils you should not be charging people money for that. So this will come up later when we uh, find the locations of springs and brooks and uh, access is granted to them. You'll find that uh, the water appears to come from nowhere. It doesn't come from underground rivers or lakes. It comes from a wormhole. So between Israel and, the, and Egypt, there are 12 springs that were deliberately placed there by the archangel uh, that escorted Moses and his people. Those springs are till the, still there to this day. Each wormhole takes 800 years to calculate and place. The wormhole, uh, firstly, you have a dimension bigger than this universe full of water. It is pure water. It is clean. Then in the centre of this, you have a single wormhole entry point. Then you have a wormhole exit point, which is underground. Some are above the ground in places like Egypt and Israel. For brooks and springs, some of them have a shaft that can be approximately 48 feet deep and is concrete. So you have your wormhole exit point and uh, it pours water into a cistern. The water then comes up through a bore which is lined with concrete and comes out through the water spring outlet. So the mechanics of it are quite simple and the wormhole can be turned off or turned on uh, and pressure can be increased. There's a large number of these springs in New Zealand and it'd be good for New Zealand to have access to them and to tap the water pressure correctly so that there's plenty of water for everyone and no one needs to pay for any of it. So planning for humankind. Let's look at New Zealand. We planned this country. All right? So if you have a look at uh, Hamilton Airport, for example, you'll see lines in the ground uh, that outline the airport. Those were placed there after Noah's flood. So it was planned. Auckland was planned. Hamilton was planned. All the cities and towns in New Zealand were planned. All right. So this is just one country I'm talking about. There are many others. Not all towns and cities were planned. But in this case, I'm using New Zealand as an example. Literally all of them were planned. So... Uh, you have your dimension full of water. This won't fill this dimension up full of water. Uh, it is a controlled process where the water uh, exits through, through the wormhole exit point, comes up through the shaft and provides water from a spring, which is drinkable. And that's the purpose of it, is to provide good, clean drinking water for everyone. So uh, tapping pressure is another process, and we'll cover that in part two. I'm the Archangel Daniel, 
and I'm from heaven.